Welcome to Joy Talk, one of those rare frozen in time cities which mingles with today's modern lifestyle. It can touch for the history buff and travel photographer, but also the sofa holic and foodie fanatic. Georgetown, formerly known as Tanjung Penanga, is the capital city of the Malaysian state of Penang. Georgetown is Malaysia's third most populous city with 708,000 inhabitants as of 2010. The historical core of Georgetown has been inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage since 2008. Georgetown history began in 1786 when it was founded by Captain Francis Light of the East India Company. Founded as a free port, Georgetown became the first British settlement in Southeast Asia and proposed as one of the most important in the 19th century. An English settlement in the local distribution center, it temporarily became the capital of the Strait Settlement. The Strait Settlement are British Crown Colony consisting of Singapore and Malacca. Georgetown became the first city in Malaya and by extension Malaysia when in 1957. It was granted by city status by Queen Elizabeth II. How Georgetown began? In the 70s, the East India Company hired Francis Wright, the captain of the Royal Navy, to develop trade relations on the Malaysian Peninsula. Later, the light landed on Kedah, and an internal Buginese rebellion also took place. Recognizing this situation, Wright made a friendly relationship with the 10th Kedah Sultan, Sultan Muhammad Ziwa Zainal Ayat Dilim II, and promised to protect the British troops. In return, Sultan provided Penang Island, which was part of Kedah at that time. Wright later reported the offer to his boss, but it wasn't until 1786 that he was finally ordered to receive Penang Island from Kedah. The East India Company saw the control of the island as a base for the Royal Navy and as a trading post between China and India. To this end, Wright negotiated with Kedah's new Sultan, Sultan Abdullah Mukhalim Shah, to cede the island to the British East India Company in exchange for British military assistance. After the agreement was signed between Wright and the Sultan, Wright and his aides sailed to Penang Island, arriving in July 17, 1786. The area where Wright first landed, now Espanade, was originally a dense jungle-covered swamp. After the area was cleared, a simple Julian Jack hosting ceremony was held on August 11th. Penang Island was renamed Prince of Wales after the successor to the British throne, and Georgetown's new ceremony was named in honor of George III. Wright developed Georgetown into a free port, allowing merchants to trade without paying taxes or obligations. The politician's intention was to attract traders from the Dutch port to the area. The number of ships arriving increased from 85 in 1786 to 3,569 in 1802. By 1792, Georgetown's population had grown to 10,000. So the current flag was adopted in 1949 after Penang became a component of state of the federal Malaya. The Penang flag was made of three equal vertical strips light blue on the left white on the center and yellow on the right in the middle of the central white stripes stand an area not called palm tree from which penang island get its name the light blue represent of the sea that surround of the penang island the white color represent of certainty in the state of penang while the yellow strips Represent property. So the history flag, the street settlement flag, was used when Penang was and like the British Crown colony of the Stairs settlement. So the three emperor crowns on the inverted white within the red lodge represent the three Stairs settlement of Penang, Singapore, and Malacca. Penang got a new flag after the street settlement. were dissolved in 1946 on the symbols it it's transition from a treasure british crown colony to an autonomous state present to be incorporated into malaya the prince wales features and the motto is each the end 
which was then the prince, the Wales Iceland, established in 1786. While the wavy blue and the white bars represent the Strait of Malaya, that surround by Penang Iceland, the top blue bar was styled like a forest, and an illusion to Fort Cornwallis, which is prayed in early days of Penang Iceland to protect it. A version of the current Penang flag include the blue and white curves underneath the palm tree. This particular visual feature of the tourist was actually the original modern Penang flag. The tourist was taken out in 1965 since the all Penang flags have omitted the tours from the tree. While the original sign with the tours can still be seen on occasion. The previous of the city of Georgetown had its own flag, which is like have been used in the Georgetown City Council was granted in the 1957. The old city flag is not used more. The capital city of Penang, Georgetown, is located in the northeastern part of the island, consisting of nine suburbs, and some are home to popular beaches like Batu Ferengi and Tanjung Bunga. The famous Penang Hill is located in the Air Itam suburb, with peaks rising over 700 meters. Some beautiful flora can be found on Penang Hill, for example, the pitcher plant in Monkey Cup Garden. Others can include the Slipper Orchid and the Mingaya Meliana, which are limited in number due to habitat loss. The Deltong tree is used for its latex and was also used to name one of the suburbs. Penang has a tropical rainforest climate with dominant forest type being the Terracum forest. Primates like the dusky langur, long-tailed macaque, and Sunda Stoldoris can be found on the island. Birds like the white bellied sea eagle and Brahmini kite can also be seen in flight on Penang Hill. Other notable animals can include the wild boar, monitor lizard, and aquatic animals like dolphins. These are all amazing animals to look at, but it's always best to watch them from a safe distance. Georgetown is known for having the best food in Malaysia. Let me introduce you to four famous cuisine. It's sour, savory, sweet, and spicy are people known as Asam Laksa. When other laksa use coconut milk or seafood stock as the main ingredients, Asam Laksa soup is made out of mackerel, prawn paste, and distinguished feature of sour from tamarin. The exact origin of this dish is unknown, but people believe it is started from northwestern state of Penang. Second, Cha Kwe Tiao. Char means stir fried, kwe tiao means flat noodle. This dish is inspired by Chinese Hokkien noodles. Char kwe tiao has to be cooked with wok hei to retain the taste, color, and aroma. This dish contains flat rice noodles, eggs, bean, uh, bean sprouts, garlic chives, fresh shrimp, bloody cockles, cook them with dark soy sauce, and ready to be enjoyed. Next, nasi kandar is a well-known local dish that many people love to get their hands dirty. We have to eat it by hand. This authentic food is from Penang that was popularized by Muslim traders from India. This food is mainly plain white rice, biryani or biryani rice with a variety of curry meats and veggies. In Georgetown, there is a famous drink called Sharbai, or Penang people call it I Stink Up. The catchy name is from Middle East that was translated from the given name of a window sherbet by English men. I Stink Up is made out of coconut water mixed with rose syrup, young coconut pulp, and chia seed. Penang National Park has one of the most beautiful beaches in Penang. You can see rare tropical plants and animals. The reason why people go visit Penang National Park is because there are several hiking courses. There are seven routes from A to G for hiking in Penang National Park, so you have lots of choices. But be aware that hiking at Pena National Park is not that easy. You must check distance, also time required on the map. For the next, let's talk about the historical place in Georgetown, which is Fort Cornwallis. Fort Cornwallis is the largest standing fort in Malaysia. It is a historical building with brick exterior that have a slightly different atmosphere than the surrounding buildings. Nowadays, they are open as a park, and the park become a famous and well-known Georgetown sightseeing location. For the next, let's talk about the local parks, which is Pena Municipal Park. 
This park is known as the Yost Park by local people. The two of main popular parts of this park is the water park with the pools and fountains and hiking path. On the weekend, it is seen that lots of families are there to chill out or even in the afternoon or weekdays, you will be surrounded by lots of birds, greenery and it helps you heal from your busy days. The Gekloksi Temple is Malaysia's largest Buddhist temple with millions of magnificent Buddha images and hundreds of beautiful, meaningful carvings, sculpture and murals. This temple is not only a center for Chinese culture and Buddha teaching, but also a unique heritage gem. The Chongfats you mentioned is one of Penang's most well-known attractions. The blue walls of the mansion distinguishes it from other buildings, and it is sometimes referred to as the Blue Mansion. The property now operates as an 18-room hotel-museum hybrid. Since 2012, Penang Street Art has grown in popularity as a popular tourist attraction in the city's historic district, with crowds of people lining up to have their photos taken in front of the murals. Clan jetties form a part of Pinang Heritage Trail. These water villages are over a century old. The Chu Jetty is tourist friendly with lots of stilt houses, long walkways, temples, and plenty of photo opportunities. The habitat Pinang Hill is home to Malaysia's most diverse and educational rainforest experience. Visitors will enjoy breathtaking views of Bukit Bendera, Malaysia, and the surrounding areas of Pinang Hill from the highest public viewing point on Pinang Island. From the top, you can see a sunrise above nature or get a glimpse of Georgetown's night view. 